After years of blood bags and syringes, there is a new form of cheating beginning to worry everyone in pro cycling, motors in bikes. The UCI is testing for motors in three ways. Using thermal imaging cameras to detect heat sources in bikes, using x-rays and using a magnetic resistance test. While the first of these is pretty self-explanatory, the magnetic resistance test needs a bit more explaining. Electric motors contain magnets because they work using electromagnetic induction. The UCI has developed a way of spotting these magnets when concealed within bike frames, irrespective of whether they are turned on or energised or not. The test is performed using an iPad mini, which is fitted with an adapter that creates a structured magnetic field around the device. Special software is then used to detect any changes in the magnetic flux density of this field. This data is then passed on to the person conducting the test using an app that creates a graph that turns red if it detects any significant change in the magnetic field. Changes in the magnetic flux density would be caused by the presence of magnets in the bike, which possibly suggests the presence of a motor. If the app detects a significant change in the magnetic field, the commissaires could order a bike to be taken apart so they could inspect it properly. According to the UCI, the only way around this test is to shield a motor with a significant amount of heavy metal, such as lead, and then the extra weight of the shield will cancel out the effect of the motor anyway. Overall, the UCI is confident that by using this magnetic resistance test and other methods of detection, it will be able to deter any potential cheaters and detect anyone prepared to run the gauntlet. We'll have to wait and see if this is the case, but if there aren't any more cases of motorised doping, let's hope it's because no one is doing it, rather than there being any holes in the testing methods.